Hello and welcome. In this video, members of BCSE Technology will show you how you can access your online learning through It's Learning. So to get to It's Learning, it's helpful if you go to the BCSE homepage. And right below the scrolling video, there's an It's Learning icon on the right-hand side. And all BCSE students are given an It's Learning account to access their lessons and resources. From here, you'll enter your student's username and password. If you're unsure about your username and password, you can contact your teacher and they can help you with that. And you'll click sign in. All right, and when you get into your It's Learning course, it probably will show you a page here for your school. So you might see some announcements and important information from your counselors or your principal in your school. And to get to your courses across the top, there are several buttons here. You'll click your courses button. And from here, it will show a handful of your courses. If you're a high school student, you probably have about seven to eight classes and even middle school students as well. So this only shows five. To see all of your courses, you'll click All Courses. For elementary students, typically your course that you'll have your lessons in is your AM Homeroom course. To select the course you wanna take part in, select it from your courses menu. And it takes you to the start page for your course. So this is an example of an elementary course page. This could also be a similar look for some middle and high school students. And the change here, if you've been a BCSE student before, is that there is a course start page that will be consistent across the district. On the course start page, you'll see a welcome video from your teacher and a start button or a picture to go to your lesson page for the day. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a content block here where you can access folder of lessons for maybe the week or any past lessons if we are a couple weeks into the school year. So if you need to play catch up or look back at any resources from before, you have access to do that. And there's also information in this help box that shows you how you can contact your teacher. Your teacher's email will be here as well as how to get technology help if you need it. So tutorial videos and links to our technology support, e-learning website, and helpline. To get to the lesson for the day, you can click the link where it says today's lesson or the start button, and it will open in a new window. From here, your teacher will put together your lesson resources for the day or the week, depending on how your teacher has decided to set up your class. There'll be a video here explaining your instructions for the day and your learning goal, followed by instructions to complete tasks so you can get that learning objective met. There might be additional blocks over here for you to click to get to your lesson resources as well as any curriculum links and tools you might need to use. And again, help links and ways to contact your teacher. To start the lesson, it's helpful if you first watch the video, read through or listen to your teacher's instructions, and then click the resources your teacher has set up for you, which may open in another window and guide you through a series of lesson steps and instructions until you finish the lesson. If you have a question at any point in time, you can always contact your teacher following the instructions they left in the help box or by sending a message to your teacher through its learning messenger, which is right here. It's this little message icon beside your profile. You can type in your teacher's name send a message from there. And your teacher will get back to you. The other way that your teacher might have set up your course, this is probably the way most elementary classes are set up, but some high school classes might be using a slightly different format, but you still have access to past lessons, 
technology help and information on how to go through your lesson. The other way of organizing your course is through using the plans feature on its learning, which is also across the top here. So if your teacher has used the plans way of organizing the course, as soon as you get to the course from the courses drop down menu, there will be a start button to take you through the lesson. Your teacher will have the goal written out, any instructions and links, and a video there as well. But to get started, you'll click start. And then you will go through the lesson resources your teacher has set up for you. You can progress through the resources at your own pace. And if you need to see all the steps in the learning plan, you can click the learning plan quick view and it shows all of the steps there. If you need to close out of the plan, maybe to send your teacher a message or to get in contact with them, you can use the X button. And to get back to the start button, click overview and start. If you need to view any past lesson plans, you can also get to them through the plans button. And other plans will show up here and you can also use the drop down menu to select a specific week during the school year and view the lesson plans for that day. If you have any questions about your lessons, be sure to contact your teacher and have fun with your lessons.